Hello everyone, welcome to Vigik channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can take great images with your OnePlus 6. Now as you know OnePlus 6 has got some really good set of features that you can utilize to the fullest and uh, get some really good looking images and in this particular video I will uh, share you my tips, uh, my pro tips what I use usually to capture landscape images and uh, what are the settings that you should be changing inside the OnePlus 6 so that you get some beautiful looking images and if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for awesome videos on this channel and if you really like this video please hit that like button as well. So let's Let's uh, begin with the video as you can see a beautiful uh, park is here you don't have to be in exotic locations to get some landscape photography but uh, the casual park will uh, just suffice and uh, let's uh, see what are the settings that you need to change on your OnePlus 6. So guys as you can see this is the oneplus 6 uh, default user interface camera interface of the oneplus 6 and as you can see there are plenty of uh, features over here this is the default mode so what we have to do now is to change from photo to pro photo mode this is where everything gets unlocked and as you can see there is a histogram here as well so if you don't know from where this histogram has come you can actually just uh, again swipe left like this and here as you can see there is a setting if you just go to the setting here here you will find all that settings option so from here you should enable the histogram and once you do that uh, here you can see the pro mode so in the pro mode first thing you'll notice here is the 4 is to 3 aspect ratio see the important aspect to consider while taking landscape images is uh, to capture it really wide but uh, uh, what happens is in smartphone photography if you do if you capture in 19 is to 9 aspect ratio as you can see you get much cropped angle although the focal length remains the same but still as you can see 19 is to 9 doesn't suffice to all the LCD monitors or wherever you are viewing the images except the smartphone itself so what I suggest you to do is to either uh, if there was an option of 16 is to 9 aspect ratio it would have been great uh, but still you can capture it in one 4 is to 3 aspect ratio this is where you get the full resolution images as well 16 megapixel and if you capture in 16 19 is to 9 aspect ratio the image size will be a little bit reduced so now that we are in 4 is to 3 aspect ratio and uh, another thing option important option you see is the raw mode so if you capture raw images you have to edit you have to post process the image that is when it really shines i will do that another video if you want to leave me a comment in the uh, comment section down below i will know and i will do a separate video tutorial of how to capture raw images from this one plus six and basically edit up to the post production so let's just disable the raw and here's the customized mode i have done a separate video for c1 c2 settings how you have to set up your favorite settings to one mode say for this kind of situation you know that this is a landscape and you know the settings you want to tweak you just have to c1 or c2 wherever you have saved that setting if you just tap on that and everything will be changed automatically and you just can capture concentrate on capturing the images so that's how the c1 and c2 mode is really handy which is uh, what is called customized mode so now what we have to do for some uh, great images is here you see this is the exposure compensation now it is currently set to auto now as you can see in the foreground element uh, uh, you have some really nice grass here you have the background images as a pagoda and now what this exposure compensation uh, does is it if you think the foreground element here is little bit on the darker side you can boost the exposure value remember you should not boost it too much so that the highlights are completely blown as you can see the detail is little bit blown out now so you can tweak the setting 0.17 if this suffices this is okay this should be your exposure value so this is how you can set you can actually reduce the exposure value as well now it is set to auto just we shall move to 0.17 
Now after that what you can do is if you think if you tap on this and think that it is in proper focus now uh, what you can do is you can just capture the picture obviously of course and what if the focus isn't proper so just tap on this out over here and here you can see the landscape and flower so this is how you can distinguish a manual focus just look at this so until and unless you find there is a proper focus on the subject you are looking to focus you just move the slider you just roll the slider to wherever you want if you think the auto is working nice actually the oneplus 6 focus is really nice so there shouldn't be any problem generally but still i'm telling you this is the manual to auto focus where you can change to accordingly and the next one you see here is the shutter speed currently it is auto selected and it shows what value it is uh, uh, it has selected automatically right now it is 1 by 4 70th of a second now if this is okay then this should be set to auto itself otherwise if you keep any person here if you want some person to be standing here or doing some action and you want to capture that particular moment as well you can increase the shutter speed value and use the exposure compensation over there so that you get you freeze the moment as well and you get the background landscape as well that way you can actually set the pro setting the next one is the important one as you can see here so because we are not capturing in draw we need the proper image in jpeg itself so we don't have to again edit it separately so what you can do in white balance is suppose you think the grass over here is not pure green and the pagoda you see is not accurate color you can just tweak the auto white balance manually and get the proper light and color so as you can see if i turn over to the 7500 kelvin so this is the temperature value the more the number the more warmer it gets and if you just reduce the number the cooler it gets so this is how you can distinguish the color uh, currently I think 6250 is really good enough here and it captures really natural looking picture. So this has to be set white balance accordingly depending on the situation. The last setting here is the ISO value. So I suggest you to leave the ISO to auto itself because you don't want to make the images look noisier. Increasing the ISO number will just increase the noise and you don't want to do that. Just leave it to auto whatever set it will set automatically. So these are the settings you should be looking while you capture the landscape images. Now the another thing to look at is the composition. I have done a separate video on how you can actually how you should compose the image properly. You can view that here as you can notice that there is a grid line here. I have applied the grid line from going to the settings page I showed you earlier. So this way it makes everything look nice and this is the leading line here because your eye is actually seeing the pagoda but yet you can imagine there is uh, some really nice park and location so that's how you have to determine and take the picture so another thing that i want to show you is 1x here so if you want to bring a little bit close up and avoid this unwanted flowers here what you can do is just tap and hold on the 1x and it will unlock the zoom mode so you can slowly zoom to 1.4x 1.5x completely avoiding that flower and at getting some really nice image so this is how you should tweak carefully and get perfect looking landscape images so i hope this tutorial was helpful if yes please like the video and subscribe to my channel i'll be making more awesome videos and let me know in the comments as well what uh, video you would like to see next so see you all in the next one till then take care everyone bye bye